what's up guys a big big update is out ios 26 rc is out and it's a big update rc is a release candidate update it is one of the best update it comes after when all the betas are done and it is the update before the official release for the public ios 26 rc is over here i am quite excited there are tons of new things that we can discuss especially for the people who haven't tried out the ios 26 yet but if you're already using iOS 26, maybe on any beta, you will be familiar what is out. But for the people who haven't tried out the iOS 26 yet, this is a whole new thing. So I'm going to put my device a bit over here so I can bring in iOS 18 device over here as you can see. So I can compare the look side by side so you can have a much better idea that what iOS 26 is going to offer. So as you can see, this is the iOS 18. This is the iOS 26 RC over here. And it is going to change. First of all, these are the flat icons. As you can see, the biggest change is coming is in the icons. The whole language is going to change. Now the language is going to be called liquid glass. That is going to allow you to bring clear icons. They are also available in the light mode and also available in the dark mode. Let me show you how the light mode icons look like. They look really pretty as you can see, perfect, perfectly aligned. Every icon is pretty much available in the clear icon mode. And you can also go to the um, darker version of these icons that look even, even better. So yeah, so if you notice that when you go and go to the edit over here and the whole menu is different. Like if I go again over here to show you both menus are different. Now the menus are more curved than, you know, a bit flat over here. And if I go to the customize and customize over here, you can see this is a flat look over here, dark flat look. But now this is the liquid look over here, liquid design look. That's look really, 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 really pretty. And this is how the um, icons look like. Now there are different applications. They have new icons. Like now there is a new icon for camera app, photos, podcast um settings pretty much every little app has a new icon um now these icons are in 3d liquid glass look as you can see if you compare over here um also there's a lot going on over here the whole device is changed the whole code is changed the whole look the whole ui of every other app is changed like when you go into the settings for example you get into the settings over here this is the setting page search bar is at the bottom let me bring the you know light mode so you can get to know it better because light modes are always better. Let me just set up this like this so you have a good view. So, okay, so you're good to go. So as you can see, they are completely changed. Every other app is changed. The photos app is changed again. I have done a full fledged video about that. But if I go to the app store over here, like now there is a a search in the bottom over here you need to tap on this to go to the whole app now there's a floating liquid glass at the bottom um that looks really really great if i able to show you this is how it looks like just look at it how pretty it is as you can see it looks really really nice this is perfect the whole ui is based on the liquid glass which is which is why i love ios 26 i love every other app of ios 26 and I'm really enjoying the performance. So from this flat UI, we have moved to the liquid glass UI, which looks perfect. Now this is in every other app as I, you know, just said. So if I go to the um, maybe Apple Podcast, I hope I do have Apple Podcast over here. You can see there are huge difference in the app icon. If I go to the Apple Podcast over here, this is a flat design. This is a liquid glass design. Let me go over here and show you the liquid glass look. This is how the flat design looks like. And for some reason, internet is not working over here, but and it is loading stuff. So maybe I can go to the library and show you the bottom tab over here. As you can see, a very much a big change. So yeah, everything is changed. Um, everything looks amazing. And I'm mentioning these things for the people who are gonna try out the iOS 26 for the very first time. And also now there are new control center again. As you can see, the difference over here, there are more curves more liquid glass looks and looks so perfect i just love this new control center it feels so perfect it's feel it feels like it is completed i don't know what they can do 
from this point how they can improve it i'm not i have no idea about that this feels so completed this feels so amazing that is what i love about the ios 26 and i want really really want to mention the new lock screen the new lock screen looks perfect the clock size as you can see the liquid glass effect over here as you can see widgets are on the bottom instead of over here and yeah everything is look great these icons over here they are also liquid glass as you can see if i talk about what is inside ios 26 there are tons of tons of software tons of tons of features that um are there in the ios 26 so i will be covering those in upcoming videos but yeah ios 26 rc is out if you want to try out you can definitely try out but what i will suggest you wait for another week because public release is also coming next week so that is going to be the perfect time to try out ios 26 important thing many people were asking me questions regarding how is the battery battery life going on with the ios 26 because that is a really important thing many people do care about the battery life so if i get into the battery section over here and let the battery stats load just to give you an idea i'm going to share a couple of days over here so if i go over here as you can see i use around 71 percent of my device and i got six hours and 47 minutes screen on time as you can see just going to the dark screen score you can view it better as you can see and if i go over here i use 81 percent of my device and it got 10 hours of screen on time this is insane so today i use like around 64 percent of my device and i got almost 7 hours and 30 minutes screen on time so if you are really worried about that how the battery life is going to be on ios 26 after you know ios 18 i am enjoying a really good battery life but it can be different for you because it depends on how you are using your device are you following different stuff to you know take care of your battery life many things matter when it comes to the battery life but so far i'm not having any sort of issue with the battery life i'm just loving this update every bit of this update is what i love i want to show you one more thing that i love the most about this update when you choose the clear icons for example if i go and choose the light clear icon and go over here the widgets look amazing they look so clear this widget is easily one of my favorite widgets with this clear icon and they look amazing so yeah i was pretty rc is here biggest update so far if you want to try out you can definitely um you definitely you should try out this update if you want to try out uh next week we are expecting a uh, official release so i'm excited are you excited let put in the comment section below um yeah that's all from this small simple video just want to share it. i also want to talk about if i you know just conclude this video with the performance performance is decent it is pretty smooth it is amazing i have no issue at all with the ios 26 so yeah ios 26 rc is out i'm gonna look into if there is any change i'm gonna bring a full-fledged another video so until that take care peace out